So, so you kind of brought up Testament there. Going to talk a little bit about that, man. What was the uh, the kind of the antithesis of leaving Testament over, after ten years? Um. Well, it was it was really just scheduling. That that was that was merely. I mean, it was a very amicable split, and nobody wanted it to happen. But I know Testament had you know they've got, they've got to keep going, and um, you know I, I during the pandemic I I took time to start curating a lot of a lot of my projects a lot of the things going on so uh, when i was laying things down on the calendar they were just starting to kind of conflict with some of testament's plans and it's understandable you know and and so when it came down to like man we you know we all have to do something here i was and you know it, it all came together pretty pretty easy pretty quickly for testament you know when i was like guys i don't know if i can make all what you need and i know you guys need somebody you know they're slamming for you guys the whole round and you know bringing in a guy for a few days here and there while i take off and do some one-off kind of things or while i have you know I, i've had albums you know album projects planned for coming up in summer for 22 planned in you know 20 21 kind of thing right. so um it just became a a situation where it's like man you guys need to keep moving forward i need to keep moving forward myself so let's you know you never know about the future but at least for right now you know like we'll get you guys somebody awesome and look who they ended up with the mighty <laughs> mr dave lombardo i mean win win all over the place testament fans are super happy and i I didn't know it was going down. I knew, uh, you know, a couple of months beforehand and people were, were asking, do you know who the new guy is? Like, oh my God. I'm like, let me tell you this, you know, Testament fans, heavy metal fans, drumming fans are all going to be super happy when they find out who, who the man is. And sure enough, it all worked out fantastically for, for, for all of us. So hooray, everybody gets to move forward and everybody's happy. So it's a win-win all over the place. It was very cool of you to to show up at the show recently and then hang out with everybody with you know get the picture with Dave Lombardo and things like that. Absolutely, you know, I mean, Dave and I have been pals since we were both teenagers. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, we did our first, very first tour together. You know, I was sixteen, he was eighteen, something like that. I've known Dave since I was fifteen, and he was like probably 18, you know, something like that. So we've, we've known each other forever. Um, their, their very first, you know, West coast tour. I was their light guy for, and, uh, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. So we go back a long way and, you know, I mean, I got, hell man, I got to make a little, you know, vocal con contribution to show no mercy. Hey man, I was on the second thrash metal album ever. How awesome is that? You know? So, <laughs> Dave and I have been pals for, for a long time, and I'm so happy that, that you know, he's the man for the job. It was a natural choice, you know, it, it was, it worked out great. So uh, I was really stoked to go, go down there and, and be a part of their, you know, be a part of that night. You know, it was, it was great. We had a great time. We're all still friends. It's, it's, it's a big family totally. So it's all, it's all worked out, you know, pretty, pretty darn smooth. So that's pretty nice. cool.